Hello everyone. Today let's learn about etiology of cancer. At the end of this session you should be able to define the term carcinogen or oncogen. Mention the risk factors of cancer. Describe the mechanisms of action of various carcinogens like physical, chemical and biological carcinogens. In the previous video we have studied that the term cancer is usually associated with malignant tumors. It is characterized by loss of control of cellular growth and development leading to excessive proliferation and spread of cells. The most common cancer in India in males is cancer of oral cavity and most common cancer in females in India is breast cancer. The exact etiology of cancer is not known but it is said to have a multifactorial etiology. It is seen that DNA damage is central to the cancer development. Cancer arises from accumulation of many mutations. It takes many years to develop a cancer. Mutation is a change in the nucleotide sequence of DNA which causes permanent change in DNA sequence. These mutations occur in genes controlling basic aspects of cellular functions like repair of DNA damage, cell division, cell differentiation and apoptosis. Damaged DNA or accumulated mutations make the cell genetically abnormal and prime to develop cancer. Now let's study about the risk factors of cancer. Many risk factors are avoidable or modifiable. Advancing age is the most important risk factor. The median age at diagnosis of all cancer is 60 to 65 years but it can occur at any age. Second risk factor is lifestyle related. Tobacco is a proven cause of cancer and person can get exposed to uh, tobacco or uh, through smoking cigarettes, smoking snuff or chewing tobacco. It is associated with cancers of lung, throat, stomach, pancreas and many others. Drinking alcohol also increases the risk of cancer of mouth, throat, esophagus, colon, etc. The more a person drinks, the more likely they are to develop cancer. Excess body weight or obesity also increases the risk of breast cancer and colorectal cancer. Next risk factor is related to heredity. Inherited genetic mutations play a major role in 5 to 10 percent of cancer. BRCA1, BRCA2 gene mutations are well known risk factors for developing breast cancer. But not everyone who inherit the mutation can develop cancer. The other risk factors are environmental and chemical factors. People working in mining, welding, agriculture, painting and printing industries they are exposed to various chemicals and they are more prone to develop cancer and exposure to chemicals like arsenic, asbestos, benzene, nickel, radium, tar, they also increase the risk of various cancers. What are carcinogens or oncogens? These are the substances that cause cancer by damaging DNA. And it should be noted that oncogens and oncogenes, they are different. Oncogens are carcinogens, they cause cancer by damaging DNA and oncogenes are the genes which are involved in the development of cancer. There are three types of carcinogens, chemical carcinogens, physical carcinogens and biological carcinogens. Let's first study about chemical carcinogens. It is estimated that almost 80% of the human cancers are caused by chemical carcinogens which are present in nature. The sources of chemical carcinogens are pesticides, insecticides used in agriculture, aniline dyes, asbestos used in industries, aflatoxin is a food adulterant and benzopyrin present in the cigarette smoke are important chemical carcinogens. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons like chloranthrin, benzopyrins, aromatic amines like beta naphthylamine, 2 acetyl aminofluorine, nitrosamines and amides like dimethyl nitrosamine, diethyl nitrosamine, and drugs like 
Cyclophosphamide, busulfan and diethyl stilbestrol are also important chemical carcinogens. Action of chemical carcinogens. There are two types of initiator carcinogens. The first one is direct carcinogen. They are highly reactive and interact easily with target molecule like DNA to produce cancer. They do not undergo any metabolic activation or modification in the body to cause cancer. For example, methylethamine and beta propylactone. Second is indirect carcinogen which is also called as procarcinogen. These are not reactive and they require prior metabolic activation to become reactive. And the intermediates which are formed in between are called proximate carcinogens. Both direct and indirect carcinogens are electron deficient and they are re reactive electrophiles which interact with DNA to produce mutation in the DNA and which ultimately results in neoplastic transformation and development of cancer. There are two stages of chemical carcinogens, initiation and promotion. Initiation is a stage which produces the irreversible change in the genome of cell resulting in one or more mutation. Such a cell is predisposed to can become a cancerous cell but it is not yet a cancerous cell. Promotion uh, is a stage in which cell division and malignant transformation of initiated cell is induced. Most promoting agents act by altering the signal transduction and gene expression. Either of the two processes is incapable of producing malignant transformation. So for malignant transformation to occur, it requires both initiation and promotion. For example, benzopyrin is a known chemical carcinogen which acts as an initiating agent. However, if it is painted once on a skin of animal, it does not lead to cancer. But if croton oil, which is promoting agent, is applied several times after benzovirin application, the animal develops tumor and croton oil alone is not capable of causing cancer. So both benzopyrin and croton oil together can cause a cancer. Second type of carcinogens are physical carcinogens. These are ultraviolet rays, x-rays and gamma rays. The radiant energy exerts it, its effect by direct effect and by indirect effect. The direct effect is by forming covalent adducts with DNA, RNA bases and phosphodiester bond by causing single or double strand breaks and break alterations and by cross-linking of bases or strands. The indirect effect of radiant energy is through free radicals that is reactive oxygen species and it causes peroxidation of membrane lipid, denaturation of proteins and injury to DNA. Third type of carcinogens are biologic carcinogens. These are the oncogenic viruses and these viruses increase the risk of cancer by damaging DNA, causing chronic inflammation and weakening the immune system. So there are some DNA viruses and some RNA viruses uh, which are known to cause cancer. For example, Hepatitis B and C are DNA viruses which cause hepatocellular carcinoma. Human papilloma virus 16 and 18 are DNA virus which causes cancer of uterine cervix. Human herpes simplex virus type 1 is a DNA virus which can cause Kaposi's sarcoma. Epstein-Barr virus is a DNA virus which causes Burkitt lymphoma and B cell lymphoma. Human T-cell leukemia virus is a RNA virus and it can cause adult T-cell leukemia. Mechanism of viral oncogenesis. The genetic material of viruses is incorporated into the genome of host cells. So when DNA virus infects the host cell, uh, it binds tightly to host cells DNA and causes alteration in gene expression and cell transformation by altering the types of protein made in a cell. They downregulate the expression of tumor suppressor genes and their products like P53 and retinoblastoma genes and thus they are involved in the viral oncogenesis. When RNA virus infects a host cell, the RNA genome is copied 
to form a single stranded viral dna and it is caused by the action of enzyme reverse transcriptase uh, which is involved in the formation of dna from rna then from the single stranded viral dna the other complementary strand of uh, dna is formed and it results into formation of double stranded viral dna which is also called as provirus then this provirus integrates in the host cell dna and it causes deregulation of cell cycle inhibition of apoptosis and abnormal cell signaling pathway and by this mechanism rna virus is involved in the causation of cancer so in today's video we have studied about the risk factors of cancers and various carcinogens and their mechanism of actions like chemical carcinogens physical carcinogens and biological carcinogens the next video will be on molecular basis of cancer thank you for watching